say hi. Say hi. Hey, I'm Shanae. After spending years on a deeply inward spiritual journey, I'm now ready to spiral on out. Here's my journey of me doing just that, living my life. Welcome to my documentary. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's been some time, but that's beyond the case. We're back and I wanted to share with you guys the story of Beluna, who is trying to currently eat my pillow. <laughs> Beluna. <laughs> so, vlogumentary series still going. So the first episode I share with you guys this amazing apartment that we're currently living in. And we'll be living in for another year, which is pretty exciting, having a set space. We've been here for about six months, seven-ish months now. Six months. Officially six months, because we moved in at the end of March. So yeah, we've been here officially six months. Um, and I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so I'm going to insert a clip just so you guys can see it. But back in March, when I was going through my whole ups and downs emotionally about whether or not we would actually get the space and be approved, um, there were clips that I actually recorded of when I was looking at dogs. And in the clip, I swore, I was like, our first dog is going to be a girl. I just feel it. And I felt like it was going to be a golden doodle and yada, 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 yada. So I'll insert this clip now. Three, two. This is the beginning of, I guess, another another vlog, um, manifesting a dog. We've been feeling a very big urge to get a dog. And again, this is something we've looked at dogs. We've gone to the pet store. Um, we've looked at adoptions. We've, we've actually <laughs> a few times have gone to the uh, shelters, the dog shelters or whatever you call them. And we've looked at puppies and dogs there um, because there's been plenty of times that we've thought about getting a dog but it just wasn't the right timing. And for some reason, it just keeps coming up again. And it just feels like this might be the right timing, right? I got this intuitive just nudge that was like, your next, your your dog that you get for between you and your husband, because Dollar, my little, my little precious, is like the family dog from when I was in high school. Um, so he's technically like, you know, the family's dog, but this would be like the first member of Stephen and I's family, <laughs> you know, our little family. Um, and something kept telling me, even though this whole time for the last like two years, my husband keeps saying he doesn't want a female dog because he doesn't want to have to deal with, you know, like periods and stuff like that. And for some reason, it, it just hit me like a few days ago. And I said, our dog that we get, the first dog we get is going to be a, is going to be a girl. I don't know why but that's the intuitive feeling. Okay, so basically now you guys have hopefully seen that clip as long as I wasn't lazy enough to not go find it or find it. But, so, it just blows my mind because we didn't end up getting a dog at that point in time. We moved in, but we didn't get a dog right away. We actually didn't get a dog until August. Yes, this beautiful girl here was born August, no, May, May 20th, and we actually brought her whole well, brought her home, ooh, I think it was the 5th of August, I think so, because it all ties into the story. Hi, Mama. Yeah, thank you for the kisses. My sweet girl. Oh, my sweet girl. She's so sweet, you guys. So she's almost five months. She's probably, like, right at the five-month point, right around there. Uh, she was 11 weeks when we bought her. And we did buy her from a pet store. So let me tell you the backstory. Beyond the back backstory of me saying, like, I thought we were going to get a girl dog. Which is hilarious because for the longest time my husband was like, no, I want a boy dog. Because he's had girl dogs in the past with his family. And he was like, oh, I don't want to deal with a girl dog again. Let me just get a boy. So anyways, it was just, one day we were sitting in the bedroom. And we were like, I had this aha moment because we were just like, feeling frustrated with life we were just feeling like everything was taking too long because we at the time were um 
getting education on things like options trading in the stock market and doing real estate, you know, flipping houses and stuff like that. We were going through this educational process and we felt like the process was taking so long and I had this epiphany moment um, in our bedroom. We were sitting there talking and I was like, you know what, I feel like we've just put our whole lives on hold. Like we keep putting our lives on hold because we're waiting for one thing in one area of life to line up. And immediately my husband just goes, you know what, I'm getting a dog. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, because it was in that moment that we realized that we had really put our whole lives on hold. We had just, we were like, we weren't going to be happy in every area of our lives until this one area, primarily money, because that's what everybody worries about, right? Money and making more money and being able to have your own business and be financially free and yada, yada, yada. And oftentimes we put our lives completely on hold because we're not where we are, where we want to be financially. Like, oh, well, I'll be happy when, and that's when I'll get X, Y, and Z. So, keep in mind, you know, we're going to this, we, we went to this pet store, we always go to this pet store, um, and, you know, just look at dogs. We've been looking at dogs for, for years, since we lived in our first apartment, I think, like, almost two or three years ago, and, you know, we've never, never, nothing's ever felt right, and then, of course, I went back and forth on whether I wanted to adopt or shop. Anyways, we, we totally went with our gut on this. We didn't know what dogs the pet store was going to have because they always have different dogs every time we go. And so we just walked in with no expectations, really. I mean, yeah, before we left, my husband was like, I'm getting a dog. We didn't know if that meant we were getting a dog that day or months from then because, you know, we thought we would get a dog in March and we didn't. Uh, we thought we would get a dog years ago. We didn't, you know. So we walk into the pet store and really it was pretty empty. Uh, we walked through, we didn't really see anything we wanted to play with, and, um, we look, and in one of the areas, because they have these little, um, sectioned off areas where you can play with the puppies and get to see what their temperament is like and everything before you make a decision on them, um, uh, and we see this family, it was like, um, it was a family, it was a, a mom, a dad, a little, like, a newborn baby, and then, like, a toddler family playing with this dog, who was Luna, <laughs> And we were like, oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's a golden doodle. Or it looks like, because, you know, we were like, it looks like a golden doodle. Wow, she, it's it's beautiful. We didn't know she was a she at the time or anything like that. They had just finished playing. And my husband goes to one of the attendants in the store. And he's like, hey, um, do you think that we can play with the dog, you know, when they're done? Because they were just wrapping up. And... The guy kind of looks at us and he's like, well, are you guys going to really, are you really thinking about taking it home or do you just want to play because, you know, she's played a lot today. That's when we found out she was she. Um, she's played a lot today. You know, we really would like, we, we typically would give her a rest now that she's played with like three or four different groups of people uh, because, you know, that's a lot on a puppy to be exposed to so many different people. And my husband didn't even say, oh, we're, we're, we're probably going to buy her or anything. He was just like, oh, well, we just kind of want to play. And the guy was like, okay. Weirdly enough, I guess something in him was just like, okay. So, yeah. And so, you know, we waited for them to finish. And as they came out, you know, the, the mom of the family, the woman, she was like, oh, she's so sweet. She's the cutest thing. But... We just can't take her because we have a newborn. And the, the dad was looking like, so like, I want this dog. I want this dog. Um, but so they ended up leaving, you know. And we went in and we played with her. And I don't know. We just, we've played with golden doodles before. Because I, mind you, okay, let me rewind back even more. I've wanted a golden doodle since I lived in Rhode Island when I was in college. So I was in Rhode Island from 2010 to 2015. And towards the end of that, I don't know if it was maybe 2013 or 14, I was working at Whole Foods at the time in this um, shopping center in Cranston, Rhode Island. Actually, I didn't work at Whole Foods. I worked at Anthropology. They were both in the same shopping plaza. So this was when I worked at Anthropology, and there was this older woman and her husband who would always come in, and she would be shopping, you know, at Anthropology, and they would come in with their dog, and it was this huge dog. And I was, like, in love. This dog had, like, the best just temperament, attitude. It was beautiful. And I would ask the I asked this, like, what kind of dog is that? And she was like, it's a golden doodle. And I was like, 
like, oh my God, this dog is beautiful. And it was in that moment I decided I wanted a golden doodle. I didn't know when I was going to get a golden doodle. So that was years, years, years ago, mind you. Um, so yeah, so fast forward back to August and we're playing with her and, you know, we've played again with mini doodles before um, and none of them just, none of them felt right for us and something about her just felt right and my husband was just like, I think we should get her, you know. And I'm just like, are you sure? Because, like, I'm like, that's a huge, like, are you sure? Are you sure you're sure you're sure? And he's like, yeah. So we go through the whole process of, you know, signing all the paperwork and getting Luna. Um, at the time, we didn't have a name for her. My husband at first was like, well, what if we name her? Girl, what are you doing? Come here. Oh, you are just too much. Um, so at the time, my husband was like, oh, well, what if we name her Bella? And then we were kind of like, nah. So anyways, so we, we didn't take her home that day because when they were getting her ready to go, they found a cyst on her tail. And they were like, you know, we want to let you guys know that there's a cyst on her tail. We don't know if it's benign or not. Um, we just came across it while we were getting her ready for you. And you can either decide to take her home. And we got a free vet visit through them. So they were like, you can either take her home and take her to the vet um and see if anything's wrong or if you want we can take her to the vet um when they're open when they open back up and then you can decide from there if you still want to take her home or not and so just to be on the cautious side we decided to leave her at the store and let them take her to the vet um which they weren't able to do till monday so this was a saturday that we had like fallen in love with her and everything so we left her at the store um, they put a sign over her, her window saying, you know, that she had already found her forever home. And, um, yeah, so we went home and, you know, I'm really uh, looking at the time. I was like, oh, I'm so sad we had to leave her. But looking back, it was a blessing in disguise because we had nothing for a puppy. You know, we was just on a, min uh, on a whim, decided to go into this pet store. Didn't know we were going to actually walk out with a pet. So when we left, we actually went out to Costco. We got a huge box of puppy pads. Um, we had already gotten like a puppy kit from the pet store, so we were gonna just pick that up when we got her. Um, but we were just getting some little extra things, like we got towels and stuff for the car, you know, just in case she got car sick or would pee or something. We had to also mentally prepare. So I spent Saturday and all day Sunday watching tons of videos on training dogs, all the different ways you can train dogs from many different, I mean, I've watched so many freaking channels. I was like overwhelmed and it, it was just crazy. So Monday, um, we're waiting for them to call us with the results from the vet and it turns out everything's fine. You know, it's just a cyst that, you know, developed on her tail and it was totally fine. There was nothing in it um, that was alarming. And so we went and picked her up that day. And she was 11 weeks old, and we decided to name her Luna. And the reason being was, one, I'd always wanted to name a pet Luna. I thought it was going to be a cat, particularly a black cat for whatever reason. It wasn't. It's a dog. But her name really was like, if like when we looked at all of the, just the signs, okay, so she was, this is because I, I study numerology and astrology and all these different things, right? So... I understood she was born on a Monday, um, which is moon day. It's the day of the moon. We actually took her home on a Monday. When I did her human design profile, she was a reflector, which if you don't know is like the 1% of the population. She had this reflector energy, which is based off of the moon. And so there was just all of these different things that correlated. And this was prior to, this, this information didn't reveal itself to me until after I had already said, Luna, Luna's her name, right, you? Yeah. And I know a lot of people name their, it's, it's funny because now I've seen a lot of people with doodles who've named their dog Luna, but it's just something very special about my baby girl. Yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I truly feel like her name was divinely chosen and there was no other name that would have worked for her. Yeah, that's the story of Luna. So we've had her, um, we've had her since she was 11 weeks. She's now way past that. She's almost five months. Um, 
we just started taking her outside because she finally finished all of her shots to be able to go outside for walks and stuff so now we're training her to pee outside um she's an amazing dog you guys she is the sweetest we've definitely had our moment she's taught me a lot of lessons that'll probably be another video where i talk about a lot of the lessons that she's taught me she is definitely like she glows and she glows you guys outside in the sun like she literally reflects like the moon she reflects the sun off of her fur it's beautiful um she is perfect she's literally perfect i couldn't have asked for a better dog and she's shown me every day i fall more and more in love with this girl and i'm like i didn't know i could love a dog this much you know and it doesn't matter to me that she wasn't adopted that she came from a pet store uh, it doesn't matter to me because she is the most amazing amazing being ah no hair she's currently teething so she wants to bite on my hair she wants to bite on everything don't you mama yeah so anyways, that's my story of Luna. Um, if you guys have any questions on dog training, because I'm trying to gauge like what kind of videos you guys may want me to make if you guys are interested in any kind of dog videos. So um, dog training videos, just my experience, maybe lessons she's taught me, um, products I recommend if maybe you have dogs because we've definitely been trying to feed her a very clean diet. Toys, she destroys toys. So finding like toys that she cannot destroy, you know let me know if you guys are interested in videos on that but i definitely just wanted to share you know episode two of this vlogumentary of living life because for a long time i put my life on hold and one of the things that i really wanted to experience was having a dog of my own um i grew up with a family dog that was just like the entire family his name is dollar i love him bless his heart oh i love that dog he wasn't very happy when uh, we brought Luna to go visit, he was like, you replaced me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to, she's, she was a major point in our lives that was just like us growing our family. Um, so yeah, this is, this is Luna. Say hi, Luna. She's on leash too, by the way. I can talk about that, you know, training your dog and not letting them run run your house you know because they will pee and do all kinds of crazy things and get out get into all kinds of crazy things but she is a golden doodle we believe she's an f1 meaning that she's pure golden retriever and poodle mixed together um she is apparently gonna get maybe to 50 pounds or more she's currently 25 pounds the last time we got her weight at the vet uh the next time she'll be at the vet will be next week so i'll have an updated weight then um so yeah i know you guys have seen her before in my live video i did a while back but i wanted to do an official video just introducing her because she is a part of the family now and you guys are going to see her a lot more um so yeah ready to say bye luna yeah ready to say bye my big girl yeah yeah so yeah um if there's any other updates i will let you guys know all right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.